Hey guys, so this is going to be part one of a multi-part kind of video if you like. It's probably going to go out um, this Saturday or Sunday. So basically this is my workspace. Um, so I don't know if you can see it, but basically that's one wall back here. There's bikes here. Um, and then there's storage probably just behind you there. But this, this is it. Uh, and at the moment I'm finding it really hard to work. Um, just because everything's everywhere. I mean with the exception of my toolbox which I need, so my computer stuff, cables, whatever, screwdrivers, etc. So I can always find that, but everything else is a nightmare. Um, and also, I bought two more panels from eBay, I'll show you those in a minute, um, to give me some more monitor space when I'm editing and live streaming and things like that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll show, you, I'll show you those just now. So the, the, the idea is, both machines that are currently on this desk, so I would like somehow to fit and this is ambitious, all four monitors on this desk. Okay, so the two big 28 inch panels, the 1440p and the 4K one um, on that desk and then two secondary monitors above them. So these are the monitors I bought. They're just 20 inch um, Acer, Acer panels. They're 720p, I'll show you them in a minute. Uh, but they were really cheap. They were like 35 pounds, including postage. So gets me going. Um, so they came box really nicely in this box and you know literally I walked five minutes I walked like you know five feet out of the house and the bottom fell out of the box I think they're okay because they didn't fall very far but still anyway I'll get one out they're all right for the money I think um, they don't come with stands but they come with power and uh, VGA they're only VGA so that's them they're a bit minging but I can clean them I don't care um, that they're dirty um, because literally the idea is that one of these will sit above the main monitor like that just to give me some more monitor space um, so like I said they're just VGA I don't care about that um, because I'll just run DVI to VGA Jess so like I said they're just they've just got VGA inputs but I don't care about that because I'll just run DVI out to VGA and I have a Starport StarTech sorry uh, twin monitor arm arriving and again I got that for like 25 pounds off eBay so I'm going eBay tastic at the moment and I'm kind of hoping that will make it a bit more productive for me and a bit easier to work um, and also it'll clear up this desk and I can put my test bench I actually have an open air test bench you never see it um, it's under there at the moment which isn't the best place because occasionally I kick it um, and then I can put that on this desk which would be great because for things like my land box project like I haven't had a chance to test any of the components yet which is really really annoying because I don't really want to mess with my gaming rig or my editing rig um, unless I really have to I don't want to start pulling them apart um, so that would make it a lot easier for me to test stuff and also on the old um, land box I bought power supply I bought a Corsair VS650, 650 is plenty power, and it's 80 plus rated, which is nice. And this thing's pretty new. I mean, this cost me like 35 pounds, again, on eBay. But I don't even think this has been installed in a computer. And I can't even see any scoring on the connectors, and it came in the plastic bag. It smells factory fresh. Um, so 650, I think is plenty power for this LAN build I'm going for. Like I say, I'm not going for a mental overclock on the uh, on the FX chip and I'm not going to be running two GPUs so I think it's absolutely fine and ID, the ideal configuration is it's only going to have one SSD in it um, just for games and an OS and that's it um, so really happy with that and I rate Corsair power supplies I've pretty much used exclusively Corsair for a long time I'm ha I do use Antec and things and other machines but I, I do rate Corsair but that's it guys that's what I'm doing this week so it's probably why you're not going to have seen a lot of content from me by the time this video gets out because I'm busy. Um, but I'm probably going to try and get another episode of Silent Hunter done because that's a bit easier for me to get out. Um, but that's it, guys. Um, stay tuned for... Well, not stay tuned. I'll see you in part two and hopefully I've moved some of this crap. Bye. Hey, guys. So it's now a few days later. Uh, not a lot's changed. I've moved the monitors and things, um, but there's still a pile of junk there. And... I've been waiting for this, I'm assuming 
this is my monitor stand. So, um, I really like a company called StarTech. They're very, very good. They make great stuff. Um, I use their products all the time. They're very good for enterprise grade things at a reasonable price, I find. So, this is a kind of used StarTech um, monitor arm that's been reconditioned. So, I'm just kind of wondering what it's like, basically. I mean, I don't really care as long as it works. So I just want to get... God, it's packed well. I think that should... Wow, it's bloody big. It doesn't really look like what I ordered, but you know. Or maybe it does. So, all right, cool. Yeah, there's one of the visa mates. So, there's one bit. It's very heavy duty, bloody hell. Um, here is the mount itself, which I can only already see will present some problems. It's a grub screw. But it looks pretty. Um, yeah, it looks pretty heavy duty, bloody hell. And then I assume that goes like that. That'll sit there. These go on that, like that, I assume. I can only assume it works like this, guys. I've never used this thing before. There is a problem, however. Hmm, this is going to be annoying. I might have to move panels, but uh, I'll fix it. But anyway, it's here, which is the main thing. And this all just adjusts like that. So that's it, guys. I'm going to get this set up. And then I'll come back to you in a wee while once I've done that. And hopefully we can move forward. Hey, guys. So this is it. I said I had some work to do. And I've done some work. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. We've cleared this space. Um, if I zoom in. I'm kind of running and gunning, so it's a bit more vloggy. I'm also holding holding my road mic because the mic's broken. So cleared this table and we now have the um, the little benchmarking set up going, which is pretty cool. And this is where the biggest change has happened if I zoom in on that. So 4K panel there, 1440p panel there, uh, 1080p panel there. I'll just zoom in and 1080p panel here on a monitor arm. So both those monitors were 35 pounds plus 25 quid for a monitor arm. I'd buy a couple of cables, so 60 pounds to add two additional monitors. And again, they're just for like, they're for work and they're for live streaming and they're absolutely fine actually. Um, the Ryzen machine has gone down there under the desk for now until I sort something else out. But I think this is a bit more workable. Um, I've got more desk space, which is good. Um, and I've also got this little desk down here for other stuff. It's just got components on it for the the LAM box build that's coming up. Um, but that's it, guys. I kind of wanted to finish this last week um, when I started the vlog, but um, I had to wait for monitor arms to arrive and things like that. So there was just no way it was going to happen. But uh, anyway, that's what I've been doing. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, don't know how useful these kind of little worky vlogs are, but, um, you know, I wanted to show you what I was up to and that, you know, I'm still doing stuff even when I'm, even when I'm not releasing sort of um, edited content, if you like, on YouTube. Well, guys, take it easy and don't forget to subscribe and spread the word about the channel. Bye.